Store. What's going on? We good? Thank you guys for being here for the Just Say In Live podcast. I am your host, Justin Martindale. Yeah, okay. And I'm just so excited to be here. Is everybody having a good summer so far? Mm -hmm. Are we excited about the Olympics? Has anybody been keeping tabs on the Olympics? Yeah? You have a favorite? Uh, U.S. Women's Rugby won bronze. Women's medal. Rugby? Women's right off the bat. <laughs> there were so many other categories. And he's like, Women's Rugby. Wow. Yeah, did they win? They got bronze. They got bronze. Yeah. We love a bronze. <laughs> we'll take a bronze, goddammit. And these times we're living in, we will take a bronze. Not a bronze dictator, but we'll take a bronze medal, right? Well, I'm very excited. We have an amazing show for you guys tonight. Uh, my guest uh, is incredible. Should we just bring her out now, right? I mean, all right. My guest today for you guys all was the winner of Drag Race season nine. Season eight, I'm sorry, season eight. Everyone's like, eight, hey, it was eight. I know, I know it was eight has an amazing podcast called Sibling Rivalry and is going on tour with her new comedy show called This Is Wild. Please make some noise. Come in purse first for Bob the Drag Queen! Yes. Hi, Bob. Can I just say real quick that I was there the first time Chaperone ever performed Pink Pony Club. Really? At a lesbian party in the park. Women's rugby. There it is. <laughs> um, did anyone watch, uh, no one in this room, and I didn't watch, I just watched the recap on TikTok, but um, the U.S. basketball team, men's basketball team, played against South Sudan. It was a fucking nail biter. It was really? Really? Yes, because what happened was, the way it started off was, you know, LeBron James was playing for the I've team. I've heard of him. Yes. So, you know him as the star of Space Jam, too. Um, <laughs> LeBron James was like, it's going to be easy. They're like, they're playing like the, like the Harlem Globetrotters, like, doing goofy shit. And the South Sudan was like, bitch, do not fuck with us. Yeah. Don't you ever fuck with us. We are and, the captain now. And they were like, so there's this guy, he was like doing like three-pointer after three-pointer. And they were like, oh my God, these fucking Africans can really play basketball. What were you going to say? And, what were you going to no, say? No, fucking Africans. What else would I say? Like, I mean, almost everyone's black. It's basketball. Yeah, that, there's, I mean, that's fair. There's like two white guys playing. You're yeah. right. And then, so then, uh, then America was like, oh shit, we have to play for real. And at one point, South Sudan had a fucking 20 point lead. It was insane. And they were like, okay, no more bullshit. We're doing layups. And, you know, and then they ended up winning by just, it was 100 to 101. Ooh. It was crazy. So I didn't watch the thing, but there was a guy who recapped it on TikTok and it was great. Wow. <laughs> I was rooting for South Sudan. I was like, I want South Sudan to win. Yeah. I did not want America to win. I just have to say, Leslie Jones better watch out because Bob the Drag Queen is going to come for your job. And, we, the... and we're like twins, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> we are. I actually have two dresses that Leslie Jones gave me. Where? Two Christian and Siriano originals yes. at my, um, in my little studio. Uh, that that uh, She was like, do you want these dresses? And I was like, yeah. Anyway, plot twist, I'm a, even though she's a very like tall woman, same, I'm the still, same size. That's I mean, what you're saying. Basically, yeah. I'm a little larger than she is. So I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, the dresses don't quite fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My we, specialty is making anyone feel petite. <laughs> <laughs> we look stunning. Thank you for being here. Thank Are you. you excited? I am, yeah. Okay, I'm happy. good. I know. Well, like Bob has done the podcast before, and then Bob yes. was like, hey, I'm about to go on tour. I want to come do it again. So we're like, let's do it a live show for all of you guys. This is the tour. Bob the Drag Queen. This is Wild <laughs> World Tour. Meow, 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 meow. Yes, honey. And we have some uh, UK, uh, EU dates coming up soon. Okay. And hopefully some um, SA dates. That's South America. Okay. Thank yes. you. <laughs> Illiterate. Yeah. <laughs> Uneducated. It's giving uneducated. <laughs> Come on, Texas public I education. Know, just because I'm from Texas, I'm I from know a, how to read a thing to, or two. I went to Atlanta public school. I cannot make fun of anyone. <laughs> Shout out Clayton County. Wow. Me and Lotto are from the same um, a town in Clayton County. And one of my friends said, did you go to high school with Lotto? I was like, Lotto is 23 years old. <laughs> so yes. So yes, we, we did. We are the <laughs> same age. <laughs> Well, you just got back from Australia. Oh, one more thing. I also, 
I also went to school with this girl named Brittany Murphy, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, Brittany Murphy. I went to school with a girl named Brittany Murphy, and my friend was like, you went to school with Brittany Murphy? I was like, how old? That was like, how old do you, you think me and Brittany Murphy were the same age? I don't ever? know. You and Leslie Jones were the same size. This so. is true. <laughs> this is true. But to, for the record, for those of you listening who can't see my face and never seen me, I'm, I am, I know, rest in peace, Brittany Murphy. We were not born in the same decade, even. Okay. So. Okay. Well, yeah. The more you know. <laughs> there it is. I fa- famously gonna take down Brittany Murphy. <laughs> she already took herself down. <laughs> She's too big. Sorry, her mom did. Her mom Wait, did. wait how did but how did Brittany Murphy die? I don't know. She had well, she had pneumonia. Oh. And she Old was school. very ill. I love that we're just starting this off with Brittany Murphy's death. <laughs> Women's rugby and Brittany Murphy's death. This is how this podcast works. So she had pneumonia. I think it was kind of a little along the lines of a Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Munchausen. Munchausen, like feeding her small bits of metal. Oh, her. really? Yes. Oh, I did my research. There were people, you know, people are online arguing with Gypsy Rose. And I'm like, <laughs> did you guys think this bitch is a fucking influencer? No, she's America's like, favorite you, possum. I was like, do you remember why she's famous? Yes. Do not argue with... The- I There's know. a bit of her being like, oh, honey, I am so not intimidated by you. I'm like, y'all, this is this is not like arguing with, with fucking um, Logan Paul, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You are arguing with a convicted... Dead. Like, le- do and not now, ar- don't argue with her. And now she's pregnant, and I swear that baby's going to be the death of her one day. So, too dark. Too dark. For those of you listening, I didn't smile or laugh. I yes, you did. I saw it. I didn't even I smile. I saw it. I just sat here angrily judging. No, you didn't. Justine Martindale. No. I thought it was a good joke. Thank you, Gypsy. Did you hear that? She's here. Who's the most famous Martindale? Wink. Who's Wink? Wink Martindale. My cousin Wink. Wink and Margot. Margot Martindale. Oh, She's an actress. Martindale. And Wink Martindale was a game show host from the 1970s. Oh, nice. Yeah. But, enough about my family. <laughs> Tell us about this tour. You just got back from Australia. Yeah. How was it down under? So it was actually great. You know, actually, I, I ran it right here in this room one time, which was really uh-huh. lovely, just to test out the material. And it, it goes up really well. It really truly is my love letter to millennials. Like, this show is my love letter to those of us born uh, during this re- significant time from, like, 1981 to 19, like, 92, 94-ish. Uh, and it really just celebrates us. We are, we're remarkable. Those, those, those... <laughs> Those of you who watch Rugrats in real time, yes. I salute you. Yes. Are you afraid of the dark? Are you? Uh, do you remember? It was just really a brilliant moment for us. And um, don't worry, Gen Z, I talk about you. It's, it's always about you. Um, did you know, millennials, we are the largest, we are the most populated generation on the earth? Humble brag. Humble brag. Just, we had to wait for enough boomers to die, but <laughs> we in there. <laughs> And the Gen Zs are done being born, so we're gonna always be. We are. We are the. Also, just so y'all know, Gen, millennials and Gen Z are the two largest voting blocks in America right now. I'm just gonna throw that out there. We literally have the option to decide who the president is. Yeah. Is everyone here registered to vote? You got what? Ninety five days. Who's 96? not registered to vote? Raise your hands. Okay. Don't be embarrassed. Right. Just be ashamed. Just be ashamed. <laughs> just sit there in the dark. Like you do every day. Are you afraid of the dark? Full yes. circle. Yes, yes. Doesn't the water here at the uh, the, the comedy store look like True Blood? Has anyone yes. realized? I mean, that's the the Gen well, Z, The Gen Z's like, what's True Blood? It was a funny, brilliant show. It's funny you mention that because I was going to bring that show up in this very truly? episode. Truly, yeah, truly True Blood. Sucky Stackhouse was so fucking annoying. Well, yeah. What an annoying... I didn't because even... it was Anna Paquin playing like a Louisiana Swamp Girl. <sighs> it was like, we... Okay. I didn't care about her. I was so annoyed. I'm Sookie, and now I'm a fairy. It's yeah. Like... Oh, Miss Sookie. Yeah. And Bill Compton was like such a simp, but not in a good way. And I was like, fucking like, can she... This waitress needs to go down. It wasn't like the cheerleader and hero. I was rooting for oh, save, yeah. save the world, save the, save the cheerleader, save the world. I was rooting for her. I was. I didn't care what happened to Sookie Stackhouse. No one did. It I care like... what happened to... to um, to, what was his name? Uh, Bill? No, the, the black gay guy. Lafayette? Lafayette. That's what I wanted to know. He passed wow. away. R.I.P. to what? R.I.P. Lafayette. Well, the actor. His name's obviously not Lafayette. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I don't care about what happened to him. Yeah. I was a Pam Rising. That was my, that was my bitch. Who, which character? Pam. She was like the bitchy vampire. Like the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Loved her. Oh, we loved her. We loved her. I didn't go rewatch that show. What a good show. It was a great, great show. It got a little off the rails. Um, I mean, if, you, if once, you have, once you go beyond like once four you go seasons, beyond werewolves, okay, we're done. Does anyone remember R. Kelly's Trapped in the Closet series? How did that transition? <laughs> because it. How did we go? 
from True Blood to R. Kelly's track. Because the there's not a, there, are there am I the I'm the only black person in the room. That's crazy. Oh, oh, there we go. Sorry. Wow. She light skinned it. She I know. Light -skinned it was, and it. in the front row. It was yeah. very, it's very, it's very Kamala. Uh, <laughs> and I'm more Lupita and Yango. Um, Viola Davis. But what happened was if you tracked Trapped in the Closet, it got off the rails. It got completely crazy. It started off like, oh, what an interesting little drama. And by part like 40, he was just saying the craziest things yeah. you could imagine. I, I implore you. I mean, I'm not telling you to stream R. Kelly, but I can low-key am. Um, but it was just crazy. If you didn't listen in real time, you, you just missed that. Just ask a black person. Okay. So what have we learned so far? Watch True Blood mm -hmm. and listen to R. Kelly's Trapped in the Closet. You'll piss yourself. It, w it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, well, we're very excited about this tour. Where, where else on the tour are you going to? Like, So we're, we're doing about... Mm -hmm. 36 cities in the United States. Okay. I'm, I'm most excited about going back to my hometown, Columbus, Georgia, that I was born in. I'm so excited to go back to the Bill Hurt Theater in Columbus, Georgia. This is he truly huge for me. Um, I'm going to the UK, the EU. I'm trying to make a stop by uh, South America, but we haven't figured it out yet, but I would love to go down there. And um, the show in Australia was just, it was so much fun. We did four shows. And even to see Australians responding to it, I was like, you know, I know if they're laughing, then Americans will. Because this truly is about being an American um, millennial. Um, and, and and I don't know. I'm, I'm just really, I'm really really proud of this show. This is it's a little it's a little edgier than my other stuff. Okay, we love yeah. edgy. Now's yeah. the time to be edgy. Who wants the edge? Yeah. Oh yeah. I was in Australia and there is this uh, pasta restaurant with a hand like you. You guys out there listening can't hear, hear see this, but there's just a hand like this. Uh huh. And I was like, wow, the the context between straight people and queer and like gay people it's is so line. different. Because I was like, what is this? place like all i saw was a hand like this that's on the, the italian like Ugh. that's the logo but yeah. i was like oh my god it's the fisting place yeah i was like that is a fisting place well at least it wasn't a koala doing it you know yeah, what i mean exactly. that'd be weird they have like, what the hell because koalas have chlamydia. chlamydia it's chlamydia whatever <laughs> we're not talking about the, the koala I you had, had sex with I had that's that a one koala you had sex one with time. but the rest of them just have chlamydia <sighs> i thought i was into furries i didn't know <laughs> Um, Would you fuck a furry? No. Not even one. I mean, what day is it? Thursday. Monday the 1st. No, I would, it? no. Oh, okay. Would you? Have you? I have not, but I mean, I probably would. You know, I wouldn't, I don't know how to fuck a furry in a furry costume, but uh, there's some pups who are hot. And some people just, some guys, I'm like, you're hot, but if your face was covered, it'd be great. And honestly, what's better than a puppy? Like, the pups are great for that. Their whole head is covered. God, I'm seeing the YouTube comments now. <laughs> No! I, but it's really like because the pups they cover their face not all of them but yeah. a lot of them cover their faces sometimes you ever seen a guy that you're like this robot is rocking but I'm just not into you know what's well, going on between the ears this podcast is brought to you in part by our friends over at Pretty Boy fellas if you're anything like me taking care of your skin was an afterthought for quite a while which is why I have the perfect product for you and ladies if you're watching and listening at home do yourselves a favor and get your guys this product Pretty Boy is a six-in-one revival moisturizer, and they also just launched a two-in-one fresh start face cleanser, offering a game-changing upgrade to your skincare routine. It was chosen as GQ's number one moisturizer for a reason, and Pretty Boy is all about results without the fuss. Trust me, I have it on right now. It is so easy. I literally get in the shower, wash my face with their new foam face wash, get out, dry my face, pump two little dots in there and spread it all over my face. I have smooth skin, my lines have diminished, I feel moisturized and hydrated throughout the entire day. Before using Pretty Boy Revival Skin Moisturizer, I would break out into hot spots on my face, which I found out that was seborrheic dermatitis. Once I started using Pretty Boy, that completely vanished. I haven't had an outbreak in, I would say, several months, and that is mainly because of Pretty Boy. So fellas, do yourselves a favor moisturize your skin daily it's the only one you have and it's so simple there's no reason not to do it also they even were the first male brand to receive the seal of acceptance from the national eczema association so they are legit and i'm telling you you are going to love this product. So if you want to do something simple and effective, you need to check Pretty Boy out. Use code Justin at checkout for 15% off. That's code Justin for 15% off. Why? Because everybody deserves to be a pretty boy. This is the perfect um, segue into our first segment. Yes. You ready to get some topics? I'm the ready. The Olympics are happening. 
Are we excited? So a lot of people don't care, and they're like, well, "What? What are you doing?" Well, gays today? like gays like the uh, Winter Olympics more than the Summer Olympics. That is so. not true, Ellen. You were invited. I actually, <laughs> no, Ellen, that's not the truth. I am a, a Summer Olympic guy. Okay, I, I love a Summer Olympics. If you were in the Olympics, what would you be doing? What would your um, event I'm be? I'm so glad you asked this. <laughs> Rhythmic gymnastics. I can see that for you. Just me with a ribbon and a story and a ball and just get it on my neck and if yeah. I could two if, Enya's uh, Orinoco flow <laughs> if I already could, thought about it if I could train I would love to be able to either do the javelin it just looks so cool to throw a javelin or the pole vault it just looks so cool to do I don't want to actually do any of the conditioning yeah because I was talking to someone recently who was like really buff and ripped and someone was like I'd have to kill myself to look like that and he goes I do kill myself and then he explained his what he does and I was like whenever I see someone who's like really ripped and like with a really great body like I don't want the body that bad like I don't I I'm I'm off Ozempic right now only because my prescription lapsed yes I'm on Ozempic I'm not gonna I'm like everyone else I'm not gonna lie and tell you what's orange theory um <laughs> It's so zippy, girl. Um, and I'm off it right now, and my appetite is the back so fiercely, and I'm like, honestly, this is great. I'm just yeah. like eating and eating until I get my new bottle of uh, liquid, liquid skinny. And also, <laughs> liquid my, skinny. My Ozempic was working so much slower than all my friends. I was like, am I on fucking slow Zempic? This is so fucking annoying. Like, Not slow Zempic. But I found out that when you actually are pre-diabetic, it works slower. Did you know that? Uh, if you are because it was meant for those people. So I, yeah, I, I was diagnosed Ozempic because of my um. I have uh, hormone issues, not to brag, uh -huh. um, but my hormones are off. I have high cholesterol. I'm overweight, and I have high blood sugar, blood pressure, l horrible blood pressure. Okay. So my daughter's like, "No, you really need this shit." Yeah, no, take it, take it all. Well, wow, I learned a lot. Olympics. Olympics. Yes, there was a lot of controversy over the Olympics. Did anybody see the uh, opening ceremonies? That. Ooh. Oh, yeah, because were there drag queens in the Olympics? Yes, the there were drag queens. That's why everyone was pissed. There were drag queens at the Sydney Olympics like 20 years ago. Yes, and also everyone was mad because they were depicting The Last Supper, which, you know, the cast of The Sopranos has done, The Simpsons has done. There's been so many, like, cast photos depicting that, but the real issue was that we're idiots because they weren't mocking The Last Supper. They were paying tribute to the... Uh, the, the uh, Dionysus, the god Dionysus, mm -hmm. who was the god of wine and revelry and celebration, which is what the fucking Olympics are. Can I just say out loud that like, I don't care if religious people are offended. I don't care. Uh, no. I, I, I don't mean, care. I know. I, I, I genuinely don't care. I mean, I would say if you're really upset about it, you should be more upset about the movie The Nun than you are about oh, The Nun. None. <laughs> Like I that, witnessed the nun for Halloween once. That, I mean, I, I just I, I just don't care about religious people. I don't care about their feelings regarding religion anyway. <laughs> I just don't. It, I know it's insensitive, but like I don't. I just don't care. Because, it's just stupid. Everyone was like, "Oh, it's oh, it's too much. It's too much." And that got me to True Blood season two, where Marianne was like the Bacchus god, and she was like, "Remember when she? Was yeah, like, oh yeah, for sure." Nutting with her eyes blacked out. For sure. Was like, for ah. sure. Yeah, I was like, no one had a problem with that. She was a maynad. Spoiler alert, yes. I mean, it's literally 13 Spoiler years alert ago. on your, your True Blood rewatch episodes. Uh, but yeah, I, that's when I found out what a main ad was. And don't act like you knew what a main ad was before you heard the It was term a there. Greek, like, it's like a, like a horse spirit. No, but it, part animal. It was like a, a, a Someone Google a guitar. Ad. The bull headed. Yeah. And she kept having hooves. Yeah. Yeah. And like, everyone was just like nutting. It was great. Yeah, it was pretty fierce. <laughs> well, speaking of nutting, here we have the top 10 hottest Olympic athletes. Oh, we're gonna get pictures. That everybody is swooning over, men uh, and women. Wow, no one non-binary. I only, want, I only wanted men. Wow, no non-binary people, really problematic. Only, yeah. Yikes, bro. Where's the days? But yeah. Um, so. Did y'all see this uh, recent interview where Donald Trump's on Fox News and he's, uh, she's like, the, the interview is like, Kamala Harris has her pronouns in her Twitter bio. What are your pronouns? And of course, there's this thing where like Republicans have a war against literacy in English and English and grammar. They're like, I don't use yeah. yeah. I don't use pronouns. That's why they're banning um, books. And of course, Donald Trump's like, I don't have pronouns. I don't know what they are. And I'm like, that's not, don't brag about not knowing words. Like, oh, no, 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 no. And Laura Ingram was like, so you're fluid? And he's like, I don't know. Literally, I didn't know what that is. No one knows what it is. Yes, people do. I invented water, I'm fluid. 
Like, what, what, are you, what do you mean? About? What do you mean? No one knows what that is. That's such a stupid. Yes, people do. Oh God. Just well, admit you don't. And also, there's this thing where, where Republicans just act like they don't know what pronouns are. There's, it, they're so proud of being like, I don't know what pronouns are. I was like, we learned this in seventh grade. Yeah. <laughs> Education. Ugh. Well. First up, we have Daria Bilodid. And she's, pass, and no, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, she's hot. Are we going to do a smash or pass for everyone? No. We're I, gonna, okay, we won't, gonna, but I will. Um, I love, I'm very attracted to women with small titties, which is thank you. The, the entire Olympics, basically. Yeah. Um, I mean, you are the Simone Biles of drag. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, she's, I mean, I like Bush women like like butch bush women. or butch butch like women okay. like butch women butch um, women but she is very very hot though if she had a buzz cut i'd be so in oh well let's great eyebrow hope for her mental health right because uh next up we have armand duplantis what, what oh thank you. Water. water do we have armand duplantis next which let's one is armand? This, i don't know <laughs> I'm gonna go with the second, uh, the one on the left. The the guy? Sure. All right, next. We wait, wait, have... no, we we doing smash or pass? Just smash or pass. Yeah, we'll we'll do smash or pass. Uh, you know, I, I can't. It's really... Timothy Chalamet vibes, right? Yeah, I, I don't think this is really my my vibe. So I'm gonna. It's two passes in a row for him. I'm gonna pass again. Okay, next up we have my favorite name. Smash. Wang. Smash. Wang Guan Hong. Yes, yeah, sma- yeah. yeah. Wang is getting this smashed. This is smash. This is hot. <laughs> this is just plastic tiara out of drag. <laughs> This is a I didn't know who Plastique competed until now. You know, he's hot. What is, what is his uh, category? What does uh, he do? Category is... Chinese Taipei. No, That's what? all it says. Oh, Chinese... What is Taipei? You tell me. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Next up, we have... Oh, Chinese... Is this a country? I'm screaming. <laughs> it's a country for those listening. We keep things American I was here. like, I was like, a, a category called Chinese Taipei? Chinese so Taipei. Be, it's not like it'd be easier for folks from China, wouldn't it? I love them on Uber Eats. Um... <laughs> Well, Are we, we getting Chinese Taipei tonight? I thought, you, I thought you loved Summer Olympics. You're Miss Summer Olympics over here. Now you don't know who any of these people are, what they do. Wow. I didn't these, say I loved it fans. for the sports. These fake fans. This is not a brass summer. Here we have Noah Lyles. Noah Lyles is up next. Um, yep. Oh, smash. This is like Kendrick Lamar doing CrossFit. <laughs> they are like us, and I'm really into this. <laughs> Oh, I want to get finger blasted by this man. That's actually a summer Olympic sport. Yeah. That's He's why great. there's 300,000 condoms in Paris right now. You ever see a nice ass? You're like, I want to wear that ass like a gas mask. You ever think that? Um, no. Oh, never mind. These, okay, I'm gonna. Yeah. Your gas masks are different. Next up, we have Shino Matsuda from Japan. Big boobs, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Big, Big boobs, knockers, I gotta go. No, she's, no, she's, she's, she's great. She's okay, great. first, first respect. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna wait. Hold on, let me just mention the country the sex person's from, Brazil. Oh, well, it's gonna, don't even just skip it. It's gonna be a smash. No, Arthur Nori. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, smash. Smash. Uh, Brazilians. We are, don't even know what you do, but hot. No, Brazilians are always hot. I don't know what's up. I like even like the 99 year old Brazilians. Like, man, I want, I want that that uh, that Ben Gay all over my face. You know what I mean? <laughs> That Portuguese python. Yeah, the, yeah. This is a very good looking. Let's guess the. Uh, I'm gonna say this is a runner. Yeah. No. It, no. Too too beefy. It's like gymnast swimmer. Too beefy. Yeah. No, it's too beefy for it to be a swimmer. Do you, you think? Have, have any of you ever watched women's someone, rugby? Have any of you ever watched someone do the 100 yard dash in slow motion? Oh, bitch! I'm gonna say right now. For your own love mm-hmm. and safety and joy, watch a man do the 100 yard dash in slow motion. It'll change your life. That's actually its own category called bird watching. You've seen it. You've seen it. But that's a hot one. All right, next up from Germany, we have Elisa Schmidt. She's hot. She looks, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we all looks, like Elisa. Well, she's, she very much she's like, kind of giving Instagram model a little bit. Well, she looks like one of those um, girls in the sorority who are like, hi. You're here, and we've been waiting for you. Hey, hey, hey. You know that, like, weird cult? Yeah. She is from Deutschland. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So bear in mind, that is how she talks. She's like, uns, yeah. <laughs> we have another uh, another uh, fellow from Japan, Hanai Shigeyuki. God, I hope I'm saying these right. He's wearing a lot of clothes for an yeah. Olympian. I don't know what I was expecting. This is this. a lot. That's very clothed. Like, yeah. what, is, what does he do, billiards? 
This guy actually... This guy just quit like, BTS to do the Olympics. Take, That's... take the shirt off, queer. I want to see them mommy milkers. Couple more. We have Gabby Thomas from the USA. Yeah. Oh, she's hot. Smash. Yeah, she's hot. Yeah, how hot? Uh, Ami Yuasa from Japan. Oh, yeah, she's hot, too. Yeah, I mean, they're Olympic. They're all going to be They're all, they're all I hot. I mean, the, I'm saying pass, but the truth is, maybe... <laughs> I would be like, absolutely. Uh, and then we finally, after this, we have the men's, yes. Oh, Jesus. God, Christ. <laughs> is what's his name still swimming or is he too old now? What now? The gay one. Is he still swimming? Tom is Daly? He, is he too old? Is he he too dived old? and he won the silver. He's still swimming? He's diving. Wow. He's, he's diving. doing, he's doing. Oh, is he never swimming? I don't think he swam. He did diving. So he did, okay. he did synchronized. Say dive again. Paired diving. <laughs> yeah. So I just love all the memes. This, if you guys can't read it in the bag, it says, for all you thirsty Kirsties out there, frothing at the fart box <laughs> for Jesus. some man meat, here's a few reasons to watch the 2024 Olympics this year. I want to tell you that the day Kirstie Alley died, um, I, know. I went to gay trivia at... That's a different thirsty Kirsty. I went to gay trivia at uh, one, of those, Mary's. one of the bars. Not hamburger, some, anyway, I can't remember, Beaches or something. And when I got there, you know, the gays turned on Kirstie Alley because she turned on the gays. And... The, some of the names of the trivia teams were insane. One of them was Look Who's Never Talking Again. So specific. One of them was uh, Drop Dead Actress. Wow. Drop Dead Gorgeous Actress. Or Drop Dead Fat Actress. Uh, and one of them was um, Cheers, Kirstie Alley's is Dead. Wow. Those were off the cuff. And, and they came up with them that day. I was like, wow, you guys, it was the day of. I was like, wow, y'all are criminal. Yeah. <laughs> No one was the two Sooners. I mean, yeah. my God. Next up, we have Jack Woolley uh, representing Ireland in Taekwondo, which I did not know there was a uh, Taekwondo team in Ireland. This is a bait bus actor. I don't care what you say. This is this is a Sean Coley model. This Here's man is thing. this man has never been to the Olympics. You are sneaking. You're trying to slip him past me. I follow this guy on OnlyFans. You're, you do? You're not gonna get me, honey. You do? Is he on OnlyFans? But it's one of the OnlyFans where they never show anything. I hate those, uh, honestly. If 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 any presidential candidate wants my fucking bid, you should show make, your hole. You should make those OnlyFans when you don't show anything mm -hmm. illegal. I mm -hmm. get, I ra rage. Mm -hmm. ra if you're like showing an outline of your boner on Instagram and Twitter, and then I get to your fucking OnlyFans and it's the same pictures, yeah. I'm going to go crazy. Guys, take notes. Yeah, seriously. And also, here's the thing. I feel like a lot of porn stars do this, and I feel like a lot of Olympic uh, competitors do this. Olympians will get the Olympics logo tattooed, tattooed yeah. somewhere on their body, and porn stars will get a Superman emblem tattooed on their body. Oh, is that a thing? It's a thing. I've noticed I haven't cracked the code yet, <laughs> but I'm on it. <laughs> I've put a lot of hot guys, follow me on this, hear me out, especially hot gay guys, on Instagram, they're always doing backflips at the beach. Has anyone else ever noticed this? <laughs> There's always like a hot guy doing a backflip at the beach. I'm like, do all hot guys know how to do backflips? Cause I can't. So I know. I can't. Obviously, either. I missed that hot guy meeting. I can't either. Okay, should we skip a couple of these? No. Let's see. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. I just want to make sure. Here we have Noah Lyles representing the USA and sprinting. Slow motion. Yep. Slow Ka -ka. mother Ka -ka. fucking motion. Noah, this is a hot man. Then we have Very, Jay his teeth are massive. <laughs> Like, did he go to the doctor and say, give me the Steve Harvey? Survey says. Like, those are some chumpers. Um, here we have Daniel Jervis representing Great Britain in swimming. Oh, that's a, ooh, he got a, he got a I know, did you hear that? Ooh. No, that's a good look, that's a good looking man. That's a good looking man. Yeah. Yeah, these are all, they're all hot. I'm, yeah. I'm really, I'm super, he has great We have uh, Shane Casas representing the USA in swimming. Ooh, woof. See, I know. Do you, you guys are missing someone, out. Do you ever see someone hot and go, I would like this person to physically hurt me? Never? <laughs> like, like I want this person to kick me in the chest. Yes, yes. Full throw, force. Throw me in the sewer with Pennywise. Yeah. yeah. I would let this man kick me in the chest, right in the chest. Full force. Jean Benet Ramsey me on Christmas. Yeah. This this man could this man could curb stomp me and I'd be like, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your guy, Tom Daly, representing Great Britain in diving. Old oh, tweak! No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I know. 
old ancient twink. twink. No, he's still good looking. <laughs> Isn't he married to the the guy who wrote Milk? Lance, yeah, Lance Armstrong. I almost said Lance Bass, not Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong either. Lance, Lance Armstrong's the guy with the one ball. Yeah. Um, he's an Olympic. He's Dustin gold. Lance Black. He's an Olympic gold medalist too. He wrote Milk. Yeah. yeah. Not Dustin Lance Black. No. Dustin Lance Black. Yes. So yes, and he got silver. Good for him. And finally, Arthur Nori representing Brazil. As you said a, let's as skip some. There are only two left. You're gonna you're you're gonna skip just two people. That's crazy. I was gonna skip two people. Wait, which one? Oh, Arthur wait. Nori the, the guy on, on the, the right, right representing Brazil as a gymnast. Was there no pictures of him by himself? No. Or is that Arthur and that's Nori? That's his his. <laughs> That's his uh, his gymnast beard. <laughs> I mean, he's got. A... We're best friends. We have to take every picture together. I mean, this guy's got arms like thighs. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's sick. It's sick. And then and I have. He's got a neck like a fucking pit bull. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if you guys aren't watching the Olympics, yeah, I mean, if you guys, if you're listening out, if you just listen, this guy's shoulders have shoulders. This man is massive. <laughs> He looks like when he was in eighth grade, he ate seventh graders. He's huge. And we had our uh, our men's gymnastics team snag the bronze medal in their overalls. We're not bragging so we love about a bronze. Hold on. And today, the women's gymnastics team USA got the gold. Hey! So Simone Biles and all the girls. I mean, they crushed it. It was really, really exciting to yeah, watch. I, I, yeah, I mean. I, get, I mean, let me be clear. I'm, I could never get bronze in any category in the Olympics, but I'm also like bronze. Like, girl. You could get bronzer, you know? I mean, I mean? exactly. I, you know, black people, um, there's, I met this black, not met, I saw this black woman on TikTok who uh, does self tanner, and it's actually great for evening out your tone. My tone is so perfectly even, I would <laughs> never need it. So. Well, it is election year. And a lot of, Woo! Uh, I know, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot. America's got, so over. <laughs> it's, yeah, no, I believe in this country, you guys. I think we're gonna, no, I don't. I, think, I, um, I genuinely think that Kamala Harris is gonna win, genuinely. genuinely. I hope so. I think, I mean, if there was ever a point in history, she's getting up, she's over it. She's like, I'm out, Trump 24. No. No, we're, we're fine. We're, no, we're, we're, we believe it. She's going to go pee everybody. But what a perfect time to get up when we were Truth, talking we, about an election year. Can we She's like, how, oh, no, I'm out. about how odd it was that all of a sudden when Trump got the beep, 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 um, Trump was like, what, I, like, why would you stand up and be like, first of all, he was like, let me grab my shoes. I was like, girl, your shoes. <laughs> like, I don't care if you're wearing a fucking pair of Prada slingbacks. Bitch, leave the fucking shoes. Yeah, and leave then he, the then shoes. And he stood up and fucking posed for a picture like Tyra Banks is going to come forth and be like, I got your best photo this week. <laughs> he stands up and is like, hold he on. He like, smiles. He was like, literally. And then, <laughs> and I was surprised that the fucking Secret Service didn't do anything. Bitch, they should have folded his shirt while he was still yeah. wearing it, okay? Dragged. Folded this man like a fucking, but they were just like, girl, get your photo up. I was like, what is going on here? Well, uh, a lot has happened. He's picked his vice president candidate, uh, J.D. Vance. Uh, and which JD... is my favorite political move of the year. J.D. Vance is a disaster. Well, J.D. J.D. Fuck Coucher Vance. Couch fucker Vance. Okay, I did not know this, that that was what they were talking about. Like, he fucked couch... Couch fucker! In his web history, he had women being sexually assaulted by dolphins. Did you see this? I mean, that does happen. Dolphins do such I know, but people. you're not supposed to Google it frequently. Oh, oh, it was in his web search. Yes! Oh, got it. So he was watching that, and then the very infamous quote he said, um, he was coming after Kamala the cat and ladies. childless cat ladies. Which is really stupid because he doesn't Do we have really... any childless cat ladies in the audience? <laughs> okay. So what makes it... Perfect. Are you? I love a guy in the front who loves pussy. Perfect. Yeah. Um, what makes it particularly wild is that he didn't realize that like, roughly roughly half of, a, of, a, of the women in America uh, who are adults don't have children. Roughly yeah. half. Like 48%. And not only that, but of that percent, most of them are Gen X and uh, I mean, Gen Z and millennials, which is the largest voting block. So basically, when you come out against childless cat ladies, you might as well call Taylor Swift a c Okay. <laughs> And the Swifties don't f around. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting for the endorsement from Taylor Swift to be like, did someone say childless cat lady? I think like, she already uh, came out for uh, Kamala. Yeah. Oh, she did. There's also a clip of Donald Trump on the um, on the golf course pronouncing her name correctly. And he didn't realize he was being recorded. He was like, hey, "Did you hear? I think Kamala's gonna." So I'm like, you know how to say her name. You're intentionally mm -hmm. yes. going on stage, going Kamala, and he says, "And you can pronounce it many ways." That's not how names work, Donald. <laughs> 
not Denald. Denald Troom. Well, here's a round that, of... Do you know that uh, Baron Trump is like six foot eight? Yeah, no, he's taller than that. It's like a 6'11". He's a giant. Yeah. He's a, he, he's a compound B. He's, he's going to be on the next... He is a compound... <laughs> compound T. Exactly. He's, uh, he's a giant. I know. He's a tarantula twink living in fucking Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, he has brittle bones. I don't like it. Well, I've, I've collected some of my favorite... Uh, Childless cat ladies, um, and no particular order. Here we have Jennifer Aniston. Jen Ann. Jen Ann. I mean, fantastic. Next, we have Kylie Minogue. Kylie! You know, I met Kylie. You did? Well, I didn't meet Kylie, but I was no, in the room as her once. Yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah, I, but I, didn't, I didn't actually meet her. I, that was a lie. I just I lied to you. I wanted you to like me. <laughs> I admit it. Here we have AOC. Her. So many childless cat ladies. Uh, next up, of course, Taylor Swift. T Listen, T Swift Woo! is. Uh, have you seen her her tour? No, I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. I have things. I have bills to pay. And there you have it. Single there, mom there, there, is, two there is definitely a divided line between the gays who go to the Madonna concert and the gays who go to the uh, Taylor Swift concert, and that line is somewhere around AARP, I gotta say. Yeah. I went to the Madonna concert. I was that line is roughly <laughs> 1990. Uh, next up, we have one of my favorites, Dolly Parton. Hello. Oh, right, Dolly Parton doesn't have any kids, does she? No. Did you know the Dolly Parton family? She's got kids. But she, uh, she got yeah. the knock. Fam yeah. Dolly Parton famously once said that she would uh, pose for Playboy on her 70th birthday. Yeah. But Playboy had folded. So then she did the she redid her photo With shoot bunny, anyway. Yeah, yeah. And then there's like a, a over the shoulder shot of her husband. And she's like, I'm standing here for my husband or my man. I don't know if she's married or not. I don't know if it's like a step. She's but, married, yeah. Um and he's like a he's like shy. He's like he's like a never in front of the camera type. He's a shadow person. No, it's Joe Biden. Yeah. <laughs> uh R.I.P. Miss Betty White. I know. She never had kids either. Childless. Her. Catwoman. You know she was famously allegedly like the mean golden girl. Did you hear about this? Yeah. There is a, I, this is a true story. I'm, I'm just, a true story that I heard. I don't know if the action happened, <laughs> but a friend of mine said that he was at a party once and, or something. Have you guys heard the, the quote where B. Arthur allegedly says, Betty White is a. Yes. <laughs> do you yeah. think she really said that? Yes. Now, do you think Betty White was the mean one or do you think B. Arthur was the mean one? I think B. Arthur was, I think they both were a little toxic to each other. I mean, only the good die young. I mean, they all died at their older well, Betty age. Betty White right? had the last laugh. So that's why I say only the good <laughs> yeah, die young. Exactly. So maybe B. B Arthur was the nice one. You yeah. Know what I mean? Or maybe they were both bitches at different times. But also- It's hard to be nice to someone who's a bitch to you. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not that fucking benevolent. Like, I, I don't, I don't like, if you're mean, I'm going to be mean back. Yeah, same. And I kind of hate when people are nice to mean people. It's so annoying. <laughs> like, I, I'm like, just get them. Hit them. Be mean. <laughs> Just be Are me. you always against violence? No. Me either. No. I'm, I'm sick of being like, if someone's saying violence is never the oh, answer, no. it's I like, mean, I'm not okay. gonna, I'm not gonna like physically assault someone. No, I wouldn't I, hit someone. I but will sometimes, read them to filth and let them know. I think violence sometimes might be an answer. Like if someone's violent, you can be violent back. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not I also violent. just love a good like, goodbye. Did you watch? You don't uh, even like, just, just disappear. Oh, did you watch uh, Deadpool versus Wolverine? No, I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. I will. I, that's one of those. Uh, well, if you would have gone, you would have known Taylor Swift was in it. Oh, well, spoiler no, she's alert. Not in it. I'm I hope that. everyone saw it. <laughs> Taylor Swift. She was in a really horrible movie once, though. Did anyone see Cats? I like that movie where... Shut up. I thought you said you like cats. I was about to say, you're not an adult. No, 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 no. What's the movie where she gets pushed under the car? Taylor you know that one? Yeah. Have you guys seen that one? Do you know the one I'm talking about? What movie is that? That's your, that's a movie. I just watched it on TikTok. That's you like, dreaming. That's no, you no, no, no. I watched it like uh, like Goldie Hawn when <laughs> in Death Becomes Her when uh, Madeline's getting choked. That's the the one the one clip. She gets shoved. Was... She gets shoved into the into the traffic and a car runs over. And I think it's so like oh my god, I'm not like wanting that to happen. It's just really funny because she's a, like. Ah. There's an interesting movie where where Madonna plays this character who gets a bowl of pasta on her head and she's thrown over the edge of a ship. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, Madonna is like, it's watch you're watching someone like pour pasta on her head and then throw her into the ocean. I was like, it just didn't even, it could, my head was like, oh my God, Madonna's gonna throw her into the ocean. Was it the first time? 
I don't know. I, mean, <laughs> I didn't see it happen personally. Um, here we have Jocelyn. What, what's her last name? Wildenstein. Yes, Wildenstein. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Jocelyn. she's an actual cat lady. Yes, this is the yes. OG cat lady. Yes, it is. Childless yes, is. cat woman. She looks good here. Does she? I think so. <laughs> I think she does. I'm also. I'm kind of like if you have a lot of work done, I don't care. Like also, tell me my friends have so much fucking work done. You know, I'm like, girl, just get your fucking get your face fucking done. Snatch it. You know what? I love crazy uh, cosmetic surgery because then I look. Why'd at you look at me? Like I just. <laughs> I love it because I just like I just want to look at that person and go, keep going. <laughs> Have you ever had just anything done? go, bitch. Just pull it all. Just ah, God, like lips, tits, all. Just ah, I want like bloated puffer. Have face. you ever had anything done? No, never, never. Not even Botox. No, we can tell. No, um, <laughs> kidding. I'm sorry. That was so uncalled for. I have not had that Botox. That was so uncalled for. No, I've, I've had Botox and I, I had chin filler a while back, but it's dissolved. When did you start getting Botox? Thirty-five. Too late, quite yeah. frankly. Yeah, <laughs> I should have gone a little earlier. Um, but then I got chin filler once, and, I was, and then it kind of dissolved. And I was like, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna do that again. Because oh, I didn't really, I didn't childless cat lady. Cat lady. <laughs> I didn't. I felt like I didn't see a difference, and I can see how you could go over. I was, I was like, not enough. I don't see mm -hmm. anything, and that's how you end up well, like this, like that. And finally, we have America's favorite cat lady, uh, Oprah Winfrey. Oh my God, uh, she does uh, 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 Oprah Zimpic. Yeah, she Oprah works. Zimpic. Yeah. Oh, oh, um, Oprah, 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 I don't think Oprah's America's favorite anymore. The people turned on her. Did they? Why? Oh, did they turn on her? Hawaii. Uh, you don't remember when her and The Rock came on came on Instagram and was like, give oh, us with money. The fire. And they were like, Oprah and The Rock are asking us for money? With the fire. Are you, this Lanai, is crazy. Yeah. yeah, I do remember that. Well, but if Oprah asked you to borrow five bucks, would you give it to her? She's like, she's like I don't have my wallet. No. Cover this mill. No, I'd be like, you can pull some strings. Right? Yeah. Yes. But yeah, just say you're gonna Venmo me later. Um, I and, feel like and if don't. Oprah Winfrey was at my restaurant and she ordered like twenty thousand dollars worth of food and goes, "I left my wallet. I'll get you later." I would just trust that she would, which is probably stupid. that's the problem. Yeah, that's the yeah. Problem. <laughs> that's the. Um, well, Oprah is in the news because Oprah and Gail have finally said that they would admit. <laughs> listen, yeah, we'd tell you if we were lesbians. So for the years and decades, people assumed that Oprah and Gail were lesbians, they were in a relationship, and they finally, they speculated, they've mentioned it, but this uh, this week they finally were like, guys, we're not lesbians, we tell ya. They're like, we're not lesbians, we're bi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're bi. We are in a thruple with Stedman. I love that this is paused at 21 seconds. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Um, but it's like, but I also like, I love that it's the the headline is written in Oprah. It's like we'd tell you if we were lesbians, you know, like that is very Oprah Winfrey. I mean, I, I, I wish you, I do wish she was a lesbian, um, but that's just for selfish reasons, to be honest. Really, I just want Oprah to be a lesbian. I just what? want her to be a lesbian. It would feel nice. You get a lesbian. You get a lesbian. Right? You get a lesbian. Well, yeah. if they, she would have given out Subarus, we'd know she was. I know she's <laughs> passing out. Passing out. Uh, she says that they pay face questions about the nature of the relationship for years, and Gail jokes she used to beg mm, Oprah to do a show about them not being that close because the rumor was making it impossible for her to get dates. Gail can get a date. Don't <laughs> offer Gail. Um, my, actually, there is one time to offer Gail when she interviewed R. Kelly. That was insane. That was the famous R. Kelly being like, I'm fucking fighting for my Life. Yeah, um, that was wild. Like I was like, get her out of that room. I, the, I would have. I think she was in I would a have closet. Her shirt while she was still wearing it. I would have gotten her out of there. She's like, she's like my shoe. Get my shoe. Gail was trapped in the closet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a triple entendre there. Uh, well, speaking of, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. I was like, R. Kelly, no, panties, sure. Can you? I'm gonna. Can you name three R. Kelly songs? I don't think a white person can. I don't think a single white person in the world yes. can name three R. Kelly songs. I believe I can fly. Look at white boy. Everyone's like, yeah, you're right. I can't. I believe I can fly. Uh -huh. That's one song, by the way. There was Each of those is a song. It's like, I, I don't believe. Know. There was the... Everyone The relax. white people are grouping together. The white people are banding together. I'd like to call a friend. I mean, one of you naming... What's the, what's the one that's like, but my body, 
that one. Um, my mind's telling me no, but my body. Oh, what is it, Bob? What? Oh, do you not know the word? You don't know the song? Um, Bump and grind. I don't see nothing wrong. With a little bump and Okay, I want to re reiterate. I, there are now three white people uh -huh. each named one song each. That is not. That is not fight, passing fight, the test. Fight. <laughs> My shoe. <laughs> oh God. Well, do we know who? Does everyone know who Angeline is? LA icon. Yeah, yeah. The car. <laughs> She has the car. She Name three her. Angeline songs. <laughs> she doesn't have any. Yeah. Maybe she has one. I don't even know them. So Angeline, oh, wow. So she had a series on Peacock. Well, they made a series about her with Emmy Rossum on Peacock. It was, uh -huh. And uh, she is now really pissed off about it. And um, she is now selling her panties, her worn panties, I I mean, to, better, finance, they better be worn. to finance her own version of her own movie. I mean, I think that's fierce. I mean, first of all, if you're selling panties, they better have a little bit of fucking pussy juice on them. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not buying clean or unused panties from you. I go to Target for but that. But it's got to be hot pink. Like, if you're buying underwear and not wearing them, you're just, you're just running a drop ship company at this well, point. <laughs> has anybody in the room had an Angeline encounter? You have? What happened? I was at a bus stop. At a bus stop. Okay, sounds and she right. she passed by. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, it was, yeah. And it was, and she did it, and she passed by, yeah. <laughs> and, oh, I'm she just saying it for by. people at home can hear, because they no, can't she, hear. She acknowledged me. She, she acknowledged She waved at you. But did you acknowledge her, her, is the question. Yeah, I did. No, she, like, she, like, literally, like, raised her leg up at me, and, like, was, like, you know, like, you know, she... Did she have the fan like, across her face? No, no, no. Wow. Allegedly, if, if you if you get a picture, she will shake you down for money. Allegedly, which is honestly iconic. No, I think I could have gotten that. I think I could have. You know, <laughs> wow, I had an you Angeline. Think you, you think you could have bagged Angeline? Well, I mean, who couldn't? I mean, the poor thing's auctioning off her panties. It's pretty much not that hard, I'm sure. I my Angeline experience was that I was, I was at a gas station and the Corvette pulled up and I was like, <gasps> and she got out. And she goes, excuse me, can you? And I was like, Gypsy Bros? No. Uh, <laughs> oh, honey, I am so not struck by you. <laughs> she was like, she was like, can you help me pump my gas? And I was like, sure, of course. So I pumped her gas, and then she just drove away. Is she, is she actually still driving the same car? She is driving. Not possible. She, she has a new Corvette. I was like, what is the make and model on that thing? I want to. No, no, no. She, I think she actually has a hot pink Tesla now. Ugh. I know. Hot pink or Tesla? Yes. What was the problem? Can I say right now, there is, I mean, obviously uh, Tesla's grossed me out because of, you know, Elon Musk. Um, but seeing a cyber truck on the street oh, it enrages me. Set on I, fire. I can't even, exp I don't know, I, I am unjustly angry when I see one of these fucking Legos driving down the fucking street. Yeah. Well, um, I agree. But Angeline is definitely not in a cyber truck. But she will uh, sell her panties to you. So she is trying a pair. What's the website? She's trying to get a, a filmed version of her story out into the world. Now resorting to raising cash any way she can. Fans with an underwear fetish are gonna like this. So How many panties is she selling for I don't a know. movie? She, and obviously she rose to fame in the '80s with memorable billboards in and around LA. She's selling her used panties on the popular selling site 32 Auctions putting her unmentionables on the market for anyone willing to pay them. Is Rose to Fame a good drag name? Yes. Rose to Fame? Rose to yes. Fame. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Are you... <laughs> no, I'm still stuck on Bob. It's good. <laughs> Rose I've gone to too Fame far. is a good one. That you, someone can have it up there, but you are officially my drag daughter if you use that name. <laughs> my drag name was uh, Tilda World Ends. That's a good one. That is a good one. Or, or a better one is if your eyes go, Tilda Marnin. Yeah, I thought that was brilliant. Yeah. Tilda Marnin is a great drag name for an Irish drag queen. Hi, it's Tilda Marnin. See, I would it. never, that does not fit me. Hi, welcome to the stage, Miss <laughs> Tilda Marnin. Sounds like a fucking Downton Abbey kitchen cook. Well, you don't, I mean, you do kind of give a Tilda Swinton. Do you guys know that Tilda Swinton is the voice of the octopus on The Boys? Yes. Fun really? Fact. I didn't yes. know that. That is Tilda motherfucking Swinton. Oh, uh, if you haven't watched The Boys, there is going to be it. no one left in the front row by the time yeah. this show's done. This I is mean, insane. I've... There is a there is a demogorgon in the bathroom eating people. Yeah. No one has actually made it back no, no, from the lost, bathroom. We lost. We lost the woman. She First hasn't all, come back from the bathroom after the, the she Trump was talk. Never going to come back. He she left. was lying through her teeth when she came <laughs> yeah, back. She's like, I'll be right back. Then, that guy was three bags in. He yeah. was three sheets to the wind. He's like, I'm a yeah, just yeah, like it. 
fucked up at eight o'clock on a Tuesday, yeah. and then this guy left like after the octopus Tilda Swinton. I think they're all selling panties in the bathroom yeah. right now. Uh, let's talk about nature. I love nature. I love nature, and it's being metal. This guy. Oh my God! I That's still Angelique. Love Brett. Did you hear about the story about this man who beheaded a seagull? Very Ozzy Osbourne. Near Jersey Shore Birdwalk, uh, Boardwalk, board, Birdwalk, uh, amusement park. So this guy is facing serious animal cruelty charges after police say he decapitated a seagull near a Jersey Shore Boardwalk. Like with his hands, or did he bite it, or did he use a knife? Or... Hold on, 29-year-old Franklin Ziegler of Cape May was with his daughter. But drag queens are dangerous. At Surfside Pier in Maury's Piers in Beachfront Water Parks on July 6th, a seagull had flown down and attempted to take French fries from his daughter. Likely in a fit of rage, according to the department, Ziegler caught the bird and then ripped its head off its body. So the question is, is violence ever the answer? No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I will say this. As people who eat meat, you have to acknowledge that you're a little bit hypocritical to be so upset about... I'm not saying that it's great that this, this seagull was beheaded, mm -hmm. but the head was ripped off of this seagull, mm -hmm. and you go here and immediately go to Dave's Hot Chicken. Like, we have to do... There's a little bit of cognitive dissonance when you're literally walking on leather shoes, the bodies of dead cows. By the way, I eat meat, to be clear. Uh, but there's a little bit of cognitive dissonance when you're like, you know walking on the bodies of dead cows and be like, not that poor seagull, because the cow really, <laughs> because the cow did live in captivity its entire life, then was like electric, electrocuted, and then like, you know, m completely murdered and then yeah. turned into a pair of shoes. Yep. But it is sad that, it is also sad that this, um, that this seagull had his head ripped off. What? But it was living free up until then. What food would you rip a seagull's head off? Uh, if it came for your, uh, not like if, you're, if your French fries or something like and that. And we finally have the answer. Mm -hmm. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Mm -hmm. Oh! That was just for the millennials. I'd rip the hell just, off a seagull! That yeah. was not for the Gen Zs. Jesus, Bill, what happened? You asked what I'd do? I always <laughs> wanted the answer to that question. They never answered. Like, what would you do for oh, a Klondike bar? bar? I'd rip the and head then off the a seagull. And then the commercial ends and it gets dark. <laughs> yeah. Arr, arr. Just biting the neck. <laughs> Stacy, stop it! Arr, arr. Oh, God, not again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because the answer to what would you do could never be subtle, because that's not great. If someone's like, I take the trash out. Boo, lame. The notion that you're doing something so insane for this fucking Klondike bar. Also, Choco Tacos are done. Do you know this? I know. Like two, like a year and a half, two years ago, no more Choco. I, I remember going to a store and like buying, like, I was like, I'm, we were all rushing out. They were so hard to find. By the way, none of us were looking for them for years. That's why they went out of business. And it was really, truly a disgusting piece of food. Yeah. It was horrible. I remember eating and being like, good riddance. <laughs> oh, well, we're going from seagulls to sharks. Where do you think they went? Oh, they're fucking. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not a good fuck, but they're fucking. Oh my God, this is a movie. Yeah. Shark off, shark have we off heard the about the sharks that have tested positive for cocaine? So we have cocaine bears and cocaine sharks. Can we just get a nice docile animal that's on cocaine? Like, I want like cocaine koala or something I mean, like that. I heard that Labradoodles in West Hollywood test positive for ketamine. Doesn't surprise me. Does not surprise me. Very docile. Thank you, I'll be here all week. They eat grass. So yeah, these sharks have tested positive for cocaine. I mean, obviously, some cocaine fell off the uh, either some cocaine fell off of the side of a boat, or some fucking you know, <laughs> some coke dealer was like, Man, I gotta get these, I gotta, I gotta widen get the this. market. Yeah, I gotta widen the market. <laughs> yeah, like harassing these poor. Like, I'll give you yeah. some free cocaine if you you'll buy it next time. But it's weird though because they could hear the sharks coming and they knew they were on cocaine. Did you want to know why? Because they heard they were this. grinding their teeth. <laughs> 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 Uh, I've never done coke. Uh, I got sober before I coke entered my life, and I don't want to ask you've done coke because I feel like I know the answer. Um, <laughs> I am a Christian soldier, <laughs> but but I just don't understand why it makes you grind your face off. And like, I don't really judge people for doing drugs. It's weird really to me when someone's like judging someone for doing steroids, and they're like smashing coke up their nose. Like, are you kidding me? Like, that guy's on steroids. <laughs> It's like, yeah. all right, girl, you're literally juiced up right now on cocaine. Why do you think I've done cocaine? 
I didn't say that, but, but, but I hit dog a holler. Well, you were like, I, I feel like I know the answer no, I just to that. Like I, I just feel like a lot of white, white gay guys do cocaine. Like, in my mind, if you're a white gay guy, unless you're sober, you've done cocaine. Really? I, that's how I... Have you done cocaine? Uh. <laughs> I don't think you're, like, in these streets, but in your 20s, you know, I believe you, you became acquainted with the book of sugar once or twice. I was a young Tom Daly as well. <laughs> Well, I want to get to the gist of, like, what I would is love on to get everyone's... to the gist. Oh, yeah, I want to get to the gist of what... Okay, let's, let's talk about... Bob just did a world tour with Madonna. I did. True story. And going from cocaine sharks in Brazil, Madonna had the biggest turnout in Brazil for a in, solo female artist in ever in solo, history. Any solo artist ever. Yeah, two million people. Two million! Showed up in Brazil, not on cocaine. That but, was only one, but that was the, only 100,000. The sharks were. Exactly. I mean, look at this. This is insane. What was that night like for you? Well, I, 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 it was boring. No, <laughs> I have the answer. The answer is a little bit disappointing to people because, because it was outside, it actually wasn't as loud as it is when it's in an arena. Mm -hmm. When you're in an arena, you think you're, you, you, you're, you actually, your heart starts beating fast because of how loud the people are. So we're by the ocean. So it actually felt a little less intense, except for the knowledge that there were over one and a half million people there. That's kind of what gave you the energy. Um, but actually, the craziest shows were in Mexico City at the Sports Palace. They were insane. We yeah. had Salma Hayek come out dressed like Frida Kahlo. Yeah. The, I mean, literally, like, Mexican royalty dressed like Mexican royalty performing in Mexico. It was absolutely insane. Um, so the energy from this, you, you had to rely more on the energy than the actual sound. And also, it's a beach, so you're not surrounded. Like, in an arena, you're surrounded by people. But at the Copacabana, they're all, like, in a line. So you probably, I probably couldn't see past, like, 20,000 people. After that, it just became, like... It was it was night late at night, but it but it felt like it felt like the the series finale of a wonderful beautiful television show. Yeah, I mean, what was that? What was your favorite city? There we are. I mean, I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, I saw it here in L.A., which was fantastic. Thank you. Um, did you have a favorite city? Oh wow, I think. And that... is, can we call Madonna? <laughs> can we... <laughs> Imagine she probably answer. She probably be like, what, "What is it, Bob? Can we try?" But she would be furious if she, if she found out she's on a podcast. She would no, she wouldn't. She would have me murdered. She would. She, she would. She DM'd me earlier and said it'd be fine. <laughs> she would fill me with cocaine and throw me off the coast of the of, of the. Uh, but it, I think my favorite was probably getting to perform in Madison Square Garden was really insane. It uh -huh. was like I mean I used to walk by Madison Square Garden like every single day when I had to work. I used to work like probably 10 minutes from there and it took me like 16 years to make it to the fucking garden um but the, what you should know that backstage madison square, madison square garden is a dump oh it is <laughs> it, it was like i was backstage in like one of the outer districts of the hunger games i was like this place is <laughs> oh, it was like I, I felt like i was in a prison oh. barclays however beautiful barclays is absolutely stunning but the prestige of performing at madison square garden was really really remarkable yeah. wow and who did you, were you gagged by any of the uh, guest performers that came out? Like, I mean, the one that actually gagged me the most. There's video of it. It's Monet Exchange. I, I did not know she was going to yeah. be coming. I literally yeah. had no clue. Um, I was really excited about um, um, Erica Badu. Uh -huh. It was phenomenal. Um, Alanis Morissette did not join us on stage, but she did join us backstage once, and I was like, Oh my god, it's fucking Alanis Morissette! Yeah, uh, I love Alanis Morissette. Um, Kylie Minogue was wonderful. I mean, that's the one we were at. We were like, holy shit! Yeah. Like, that was the first time both of them have been on the same stage at the same time. Yeah, it was really remarkable. So there were, there were a lot of really cool... Selma Hayek was really, mm -hmm. really awesome as well, yeah. Oh, very cool. Well, congratulations. That was... I mean, what what was it like meeting Madonna for the first time? So I met Madonna Because you were ago. on the podcast right before you went on mm -hmm. tour, and I was like, can you give us any tidbits? And she's like, I will kill you. So yeah, so I, did, I didn't meet Madonna in this tour. I met her when I hosted her Pride show in 2022. Mm -hmm. And when I first walked up to her, she was... Uh, I was in the room already, and then uh, she walked in, because I was already there working, and she walked in, and she went up to the to the, her music director, Kevin Antunes, and then she coughed, and then she looked at me and she goes, I do not have COVID. Uh, just full mouth, just <clears throat> she, was, she was like, <clears throat> and then uh. she looked at me and she goes, I don't have COVID. That was the first thing she said to me in person, I do not have COVID. Wow. And also Madonna does this thing, which Ryan um, Reynolds? Does Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool? Right? Yeah. Yeah. He, he like corroborates the story. When you, so I was talking to Madonna on the phone before we got there, I was like planning 
planning the show because I actually helped put the show together. And Madonna does this thing where she will she sings us. We all sing. So you mentioned something, you start singing a little bit. You know, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Madonna will sing practically the whole song. Okay. Like you'll be on, you'll be on stage. She'll be like, and that's when I think we'll go like, life is a mystery, and that's when everyone else will stop. Not Madonna. <laughs> She's like, everyone must stand alone. You're like, now she'll stop. She goes, nope. I hear you call my name, and it feels like, when well, there's a big pause, and you're just sitting there, and she goes, home. And then you're like, oh, she's done. And then she goes, when you call my... I was like, like she will sing an uncomfortable amount of the song. Yeah. Which is kind of iconic, because you're getting a private concert. Mm -hmm. And then Ryan Reynolds corroborated that story, because apparently he talked about her... Uh, you know, well, spoiler alert for Deadpool, her song... Uh, one of her songs is in uh, the movie Deadpool vs. Wolverine. Probably the most iconic part of the movie. It was so good. That's such a great song. She really wrote the Is that your favorite song. Madonna song? No, my favorite Madonna song now is um, Get Into the Groove. Okay. Yeah. From After doing the tour, it became Get Into the Groove. It's, su it's such a good song. I love the, a lot of the lyrics in that song. Um, mm -hmm. It makes me think about my youth. And I imagine, you know, imagine Madonna is this like club kid in New York City. It reminds me of being a club kid in New York City. It was just really exciting. That's good. Yeah. Mine's Open Your Heart. Great song. It's a good one. Great song. It's a classic. Do you guys know who Madonna is? <laughs> Perfect. They're like, no, we're not old. No, I know. I love Madonna. Madonna's well, an icon, and I am a little old, so shout out to you, Madonna. She's, she's not watching this. Quick question. Should we just jump to the end? How are we on time? No, we're good on time. We're good on time? Okay. We're going to skip Tom Daly again. A show after this. So and they'll wait. I want to be respectful. Um, so, here we have... You remember when she said she was coming back? <laughs> I don't know this why. This bitch is gone. And I, and I knew she was lying immediately. I know, we all But did. also, the che have the checks dropped? No. Did they just bounce on the check? Yes. Crazy. And on camera. I know. <laughs> I can't wait. Like, the one time we film in this room, they're yeah. like, I'm gonna get up and do a crime like, on camera. We're gonna sit in the front, and then we're gonna slowly get up. But in their defense, they've been drinking since, like, Oh yeah. December. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay, so here we have one of my favorites, uh, Macy Gray. So Macy Gray is on uh, this MTV show called The Surreal Life, which is coming out soon. Do we all know Macy Gray? She's like, hey, games changing. That one. Yeah. That's my Macy is Gray. Is that try to say goodbye? I try to say goodbye. She was actually here at the Comedy Store one night, and I was performing in the original room, and she was watching in the audience, and I stopped the show, and I said, I'm sorry, are you Macy Gray? And she's like, yeah! And I'm like, I have I been... Got, I gotta be honest, that's not a good Macy Gray. <laughs> I, and I don't want to, like, bring the room down, but Thank that's... you guys so much for coming. <laughs> this has been truly a magnificent... I'd like to thank Bob, all of our crew. Like, it's a bad Macy Gray. Well, I haven't done it in a while. I was put on the spot. You put your... No one asked for this impersonation. No one asked you for this impersonation. You, you've had that in your back pocket for weeks. And you were like, I'm going to okay, get I'll in front of the crowd. Time's changing, I feel. That's better. There we that go. was much better, I yeah. had warmed up. I mean, See, I pulled that out of you. Where will they go from here? Anyone else would have let you do the shitty job, you would have thought it was good forever. I made you better. Where will they stop? Okay, it's getting worse. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> Macy Gray's uh, a little bit of a mess. Messy Gray. Well, yeah, uh, she is, because... She's famously also a, 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 a little transphobic. I don't know if you guys know this or not. Is about... she? Yes! Uh, she took a stumble. God yeah. damn it. So, so she's on the new Surreal Life, which no one cares on VH1. Um, Have they invited you yet? No, I don't want to be uh, on oh, that. Have they invited you? No, no. no, you're on another show, but we can't talk about it. We can talk about Traitors. Traitors, yeah. season three. And that's all we can talk about. The that's all we can talk about. There's no more. It's gonna be. I will say this. It's gonna be a great season. That I can. I can confidently say this is a really good season. Of the I Traders. mean, because who's on the show? Tom Sandoval. Tom Sandoval. Who? By the way, I did not. I didn't know anyone from this show before I got there. I didn't, really? I, they were all new to me. I, I had seen Dorinda like on Instagram once, but I, but I could have not named a single person. When I got back and I was started reading all the Instagram comments, I realized like people really do not like Tom Sandoval. Yeah. I had no clue because I'd never seen Vanderpump Rules or whatever he's on. Yeah. And I was like, my God, people hate this guy. Yeah. Goodness and, Christ. And the Housewives, Dorinda, we have... Uh, Dolores. Dolores. Robin. Yeah. Uh, Robin from Ian, Potomac. Ian from Dubai. From Dubai. Um, were there any other Housewives there? Am I, am I missing one? I don't think I'm missing any. Yeah. If I am, sorry. I think there's four. Yeah, yeah. So, 
Yeah, that's very exciting. Can't wait to tune into that. And also, it's a now an Emmy winning, Emmy, Emmy, oh, uh, Emmy nominated show with Alan Cumming nominated as host. I'm gonna say something. Every is, single... is Alan gonna dethrone RuPaul? I mean, didn't Lizzo dethrone RuPaul a while back? Who? She, Lizzo, she won Best Host. Oh, no, her show won no, Best no, no, Reality not, Competition. Not, yeah, not her. her no, yeah. Her, but her show won Best Reality yeah, Competition. Yeah, but not TV host. Um, I will say this. Uh, it is Every single reality TV show I have ever been on has either been at least emanate, nominated or won an Emmy. I'm not saying I'm the common denominator. Okay. <laughs> but that is true. Yeah. And also, there was a year where... Yawning in the front row. Yawning road. in the front. You need to go crazy. with me. Wow. Yo, that was crazy. That was a aggressive yawn. And Jared, I saw you yawn like 20 minutes ago and I didn't even say anything yeah. about it. Yeah. But at least you're hiding in the shadows. This is insane. Yeah. Are we boring you? These are these are my people. These are my people. Uh, Just <laughs> yawning and leaving. Didn't you cover them up like, ugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like the lion in like, fucking The Wizard of Oz. Like, uh, well, yeah. Uh, full, full giraffe tongue. Just, uh, That was wild. Malibu wines over here. Uh, I love these Martindale crowns. Y'all yeah, are great. Yeah. Well, back to, uh, back to Macy. She shares how she uses cocaine, alcohol, and marijuana and pizza for healing. So, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that means. First of all, are those toppings on the pizza? <laughs> I didn't know Domino's would do that. What Domino's is she going to? Would you like some crushed red peppers? No, cocaine's fine. What? <laughs> cocaine? Yeah, just get some oregano marijuana on there. You, you, got, you got to really zone in. Okay, listen, I'm going to give you a few of my impersonations, and I want you to... Here, give me that menu on the table. I'm going to read this menu in my impersonations. Mm -hmm. so this way I'm not saying any indicating terms, but I want you to guess who I'm impersonating based on the way that I'm reading this, okay? okay? <clears throat> uh, 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 the comedy store? Uh, Barack jo Obama. <laughs> and that's a good impersonation. I mean, uh, you just burped. This, um, uh, you just burped. You had gas. Uh, 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 John Sellers, uh, Sauve Blanc. Hapton Water Rosé, uh, Josh Sellers Oh, no, Cabernet. no one knows it. No one knows it. <laughs> no one knows that one? <laughs> Bernie Sanders. Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Haven't seen yeah. a good Bernie Sanders impression lately. <laughs> and also, uh, God. Oh, man. Uh, Josh Sellers. Uh, Blanc, uh, Hampton man, Water ro Rosé, uh, Josh <laughs> Uh, Christopher Walken? That was Joe Biden. <laughs> oh. I would have just done this. <laughs> Do you have a favorite Joe Biden quote? No. I'm dropping another race. No. Uh, when he said, man, will you shut up? Oh, that was so will iconic. You I shut up, man. I love that one. That was so great. <laughs> and I have to admit it, but every once in a while, Donald Trump eats. Like, when he posed, that, that, po that photo... Eight. I was like, oh, it, it ate, I fear. I was like, girl, it really... Like, you are the winner of this week's challenge. Low-key, you ate so hard. I was like, oh, my God, it's so good. And one time when he said, when he was arguing with the Hillary, he goes, such a nasty woman. I was like, mic drop. That was so good. He ate. But no, I he's hate to same, admit that. Now he's just doing the same shit, though. He's doing it... Yeah. Uh, no, they're not all bangers. They're not all bangers. They're not all bangers, no. <laughs> Mostly um, clops. Okay, well, we're going to... It's like Family Guy. They tell, like, 90 jokes, like, three are funny. Well, good news. If you're into the Supreme Court, uh, the, the chicken wings advertised as boneless can now have bones, says the Ohio Supreme Court. <laughs> that is the most Ohio Supreme Court case I could imagine. We only have time for women's bodies and chicken wings. That's what I imagine the Ohio Supreme Court is, is, is governing over. Yeah. No, I mean, who cares? I mean, we got, we've got to fix this goddamn country. I would say boneless chicken wings are not chicken wings. You're eating chicken tenders. Yeah, that's it. Stop covered it. in sauce. Quit the lies. Pre-dip chicken tenders. Stop the steal. <laughs> Stop the steal. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, let's see. I want to. This is a really long story. We could just. Okay, I want to so play what? a game. This Wait, is a game oh. I would like to play with you called Tuck, Marry, or Chop. It's like kill, fuck, yes, murk. You wanted a kill, game. Kill, fuck, Mary, kill. Fuck, Mary, kill. But I said, I said kill, kill, murder, destroy. Kill, yeah. <laughs> kill, murder, kidnap. Yeah. This is tuck, Mary, or chop. Um, and we're gonna play a game. I want you. We have a couple. 
we have a choice of three, and you have mm -hmm. to tell us if you would tuck, marry, or chop them. The first group is Layla McQueen, uh -huh. Kim Chi, uh -huh. and Jinx Monsoon. Okay, is tucking like a bad thing? Like, get out of here, and then chop Tuck them, tuck them's like fuck them. Okay, tuck them, oh, tuck them's like fuck them, got it, okay. I'm gonna probably uh, chop Kim Chi. Oh, wow. what? that was really quick. She's one of my um, love, like friendly nemesis. Mm. One time I was pitching a show to HBO before I worked there, and then I was like, we have attached on as one of the vocal talents, Kim Chi, and the executive in the room. She said vocal she talents? Said, she said, uh, she was robbed on her season. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, and I oop. Uh, I'm gonna uh, chop kimchi. I'm gonna marry Jinx. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna marry Jinx. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna tuck Layla McQueen for sure. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, I enjoy Layla's company a lot. But, okay. But I, should, I guess I should be marrying her. But I'll tuck her anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. All right. Next up, we have Bibi Zahara, Bonet. Mm -hmm. We have Raven and uh -huh. Trixie Mattel. I'm gonna chop Raven. She was famously mean to me years ago. We're cool now, but like you know, I'm still bitter. Um, I'm going to, uh, Tuck, which is the Mary, uh, uh, Trixie Mattel, we're pretty good. Uh-huh. And, wait, what's the fuck? Oh, I can't, this is, I'm, Who would you fuck? I'm, I'm getting would a nose who would you kill? trying to keep up with this. Who would you fuck? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kill Raven, I'm uh -huh. going to, uh, marry Trixie, I'm gonna fuck Bibi Zahara Benet. Oh! For sure. Bibi inspired me to get into drag. I mean, I saw her on Drag Race, and I was like, I could do that, and I was right. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the lie? All right, next up, we have Violet Trashke, Alaska, and Naomi Smalls. Okay, this is a tough one, but I am hands down fucking Naomi Smalls. This is happening. This is happening. Oh, um, you're manifesting this. You're putting the yeah, man in manifesting. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I read The Secret. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> Millennials, that was a really That's sad, been a while. That was a I'm low point I'm glad you finally like, caught up. When we were into the, the Secret, it was a real low point for us. And I just want to <laughs> say out loud that, like, that was not one of our proudest moments. Oh. Um, I'm going to marry Alaska, and I guess I'm going to chop Violet. Even though I like them all, but you got to you gotta chop somebody. You got to chop somebody. Somebody to kill, okay. and it's going to be Violet. Next up, we have... Bianca Del Rio, Lady Bunny, and Thorgy Thor. Uh, I think I'm going to kill Lady Bunny. Because she's already dead. Because yeah, she's half, Because she's already there. Um, take a look around. I'm the sunshine in your hair. That was a bop. What, who was that? A Lone Star? Lone Star. Yeah. Wrong, running, wrong. I think Hawk Tua Girl's doing a cover of it somewhere. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Uh, Actually, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill Bloody Bunny. I'm going to marry Thorge. I'm gonna fuck Bianca Del Rio. Oh, Bianca's low key a looker. I would never let her know that I said that out loud, but she is low key a looker. Roll the clip. No, <laughs> you're gonna right. have Bianca and play that for her. I'll never live it down. All right, we have oh, Monet, Peppermint, and wow, Peaches Christ. You're a monster. I for this one. know. Look what I this did. Is, this is so hard. Kill Monet. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. Oh. I'm going to fuck Peppermint. She's super hot, and I'm going to definitely marry Peaches Christ for sure, 100%. Yeah, yeah this is the easy Well, you and Peppermint are now traitors sisters. Yes, we are. Yes, mm -hmm. we are. All right. Well, that was the end of that game. That was good. That was very quick. Yeah, I, I, I realized that I ramble. No, it's fine. You know, every, every report card I got from, like, kindergarten until, like, fifth grade was, like, he will not stop talking. No, it's fine. This is what this is. We want, we want this. Oh, come, imagine I come You're on a podcast. feeding the children. Imagine I come on a podcast and I don't talk. I'm like, eh. Oh, it's the worst. I've had it happen before. It's I, okay. One time I hosted the Pit Stop. Well, three seasons I hosted the Pit Stop. But one time I had Banji as a guest and she would not give me feedback. It was one of the craziest. I felt like I was in a fucking fever dream. Feedback or room to breathe? She like she wouldn't give me feedback. She would not talk. She thought she was Real, on fucking... Banji wouldn't she, talk? I think she thought she was on Z-Way and I was trying to <laughs> fucking get her or something. And I was like, girl, what do you think of this dress? I don't know. I said, well, do you like <laughs> Elaborate. it? Elaborate. I was like, do you like it is it best? I don't know. I don't know. And she, I was like, who do you think? Who do you think um, would have won that challenge? You gotta ask her. And I was like, can I, I just say I'm sorry? You came for me earlier. <laughs> your, that was good. Your Vanjie impression sounds like Bill Cosby. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Now, uh, well, Bill Cosby's a little bit more like this. Oh, Bill Cosby's different. Than when did Vanjie become Fat Albert? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. 
Are you going to leave them on the screen? Let's see. Yeah. I want them to see you. What I'm doing. They've seen, no, we they've have all time seen for me one words. more story. This is our last story. You guys ha hanging in there? We're having fun? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I mean, two of them weren't, but... I know. Two of them were, like, out of here. They the thing like, is, you know when she left, she was furiously texting him, like, leave. She was like, I'm in the parking lot. Come downstairs. And he was too busy to be like, I'm a fucking cow lady. Do you want to know what's even weirder? Those were my parents. <laughs> And now it all makes sense. I know. One day they'll stick quick, around. Too, this is not how you cut a lemon. I hate when people cut lemons. That's like so this. weird. I just saw that TikTok like this afternoon about how to properly cut a lemon. I worked as a, as so a waiter. Weird. You, you cut it into a wedge. Such... It should be a actual wedge, like a, like a almost like a doorstop, a then, semicircle. And not to, they, I'm, I'm sure the bartender is listening. Like, wow, come for me. Flush off the front, get the seeds out, and then squeeze. Yeah. That's so weird. Okay. We have to end on something crazy. So Britney Spears, I know. How are we feeling about Britney Spears? I'm still protective of Britney Spears. I just want to say out loud right now. It's fine. Obviously, Britney Spears is going to do some nutty stuff. And we A love it. A lot has happened to Britney Spears. Yes. But also, what she's doing, when you think about it, is really not that nutty. Everybody, she's, on, she's online naked. Every, everyone's online everyone's naked. Everyone's naked. I checked for a link tree in the bio. Literally. Let's go. If I see you and I'm like, hmm, something's up, I will see if there's a link tree. And usually, 90% of the time I'm right, your balls are showing. I'll tell you what I don't respect is that she turned the likes off. I want to see how many people like this comment. Whenever I go to someone's Instagram, they've turned oh, with off. The, with they've the turned comments. off how you can see how many likes. I'm like, turn the likes back on, coward. Well, here's the thing. So she's always turning off her account, then turning it back on. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne came out this week, or I think last week, and was like, enough with the dancing. And it's like, Ozzy, like, what? You're still around? And like, what are you doing? <laughs> So uh, she posted this randomly. She got back on Instagram. She posted this, just a bag of Tillamook Mexican blend cheese. <laughs> and the caption reads, when people say let's celebrate love and freedom this year, dot, 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 I prefer to just fuck. Shrug emoji. <laughs> you know, I want to say, I was looking at this trying to make sense of it, and I want to say I think there actually might be something that makes sense, okay? At the very Decode, top, queen. <laughs> at the very top it says, there's no stopping this topping. Mm -hmm. No one even thought about that. Is she brilliant? There's no stopping this top, and meaning this top is gonna ram me no matter what. Is it her gardener that she's dating? She's dating a gardener? Yes. She's like a Tyler Perry movie. Do you movie. guys not listen to this podcast? <laughs> like, she's a fucking Tyler Perry movie. She will date a broke ass man if it's Who the last time. He's Hispanic. He's Mexican. Also, her, um, her um, ex was on the Traders. His ex what? Her ex was on the traders with me. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll talk after. <laughs> that's that's her really... Ex, her ex works at, uh, he works out at my gym. And it's terrifying. <laughs> He's a gigantic. He is a giant. He is a cyber truck of a man. That's yeah. what he is. <laughs> he really is. Um, here's what I think. If we want to get Britney back in the limelight, here we go. Tillamook, hear us. If you need a sponsor, now you get Miss Britney Jean Spears to be the Tillamook queen. <laughs> Put her in a kitchen, have her make some queso, spin around, chop some onions with those knives. Like, this is the time, this is what you jump on. You know, she didn't have to sing. Just make her a spokesperson for Tillamook. I would buy that cheese. Buy that cheese. No. Tillamook is good cheese. It's great cheese. Have you guys had it? It's great <laughs> cheese. It really is. There was a period of time where Delta gave out Tillamook cheese during their uh, their little things, and I was like, my God, this is... And I am not... Because I will say this. I'm, I'm really speaking to this room except you. I learned this. White people love cheese. It's true. Like, I'll eat it out of the fridge. Love. It's crazy. White people are obsessed with cheese. And R. Kelly. They 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 will bring out a motherfucking cheese board at any on any occasion. If they don't need it. And they throw a little bit of fruit, some cran some craisins and they craisins. Think, and they think they are a fucking emerald sagazi or whatever his fucking name is. <laughs> Cornishones. Corn, a little cornichon. Mm. They, they're like, they love it. I, Honey. And, I, and honestly, they were right about this one. White folks, y'all ate. Cheese boards are good. There are, the people make fun of white people saying they can't cook. For the most part, it's relatively true. But no one's talking about the fact that white grandmas will make motherfucking desserts like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. Old white ladies have the market cornered when it comes to desserts. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give them a not pot, not, but not pecan pie. They don't do good pecan pie. But baby, a pound cake? Mimo? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
That bitch bakes. Like a, like a cobbler? Yeah, in the kitchen, she fucks hard, honey. <laughs> like, a, like a key lime pie? Oh, yeah. And if she got that motherfucking meat flap underneath? That, no, it's a bingo wing. It's that's, a bingo wing. That's how much better. The, the longer, the better the fucking cake's gonna be. That's what we want from Britney. Britney x Tillamook collab. Do you ever look at someone's grandma and be like, she fucks? Or at least used to. Like every grandma fucks. Like whore? Like a whore like, grandma? Like, like, like they, at one point they were putting out. Yeah. Everyone thinks their grandmas are innocent, but like you're gonna be a grandma one day. Are you innocent? I think my grandma was kind of a, uh-uh. <laughs> I mean, at, le at least once. Yeah. How many kids you got? How many what? Kids your grandma have? Mike, uh, she had two. At, at least twice. Yeah, yeah. At least twice. But she also knew Elvis, which was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like biblically? Probably. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. Is your grandma with us? No. They're both dead. We can say whatever we want. I know. But I'm not going to like, I don't want to be like, my grandma's a whore on YouTube, you know? Having sex with Elvis does not make you a whore. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's the other stuff. Yeah, Cut to me right. just yeah. eating a seagull snack off. You're like, oh, Nana, this is for you. Yeah, Is there no. ever been an animal you wanted to rip, a head, rip the head off of? <laughs> what animal I would love to rip a head off yeah, of? Yeah, have you ever been like, I want to rip this animal's fucking head off? Have you ever had that feeling? And it can be a specific, it can't be like, it doesn't have to be like all chihuahuas. It can be like no. one specific animal, too. What would yours be? I would want like, what was yours? Who said something? What'd she, she say? She's like, my neighbor's that? peonies. I know. <laughs> I don't, I, no, I wouldn't want to do that. What would yours be? Because you brought it up. Funny you should ask. Um, Hold on, let me Google drag queen psychopaths. <laughs> no, I mean, maybe, maybe like an otter down at the uh, An eagle. otter? That's the cutest thing at in the At the eagle. Hashtag cancel Bob the drag queen. By otter, I mean like a hairy 27-year-old skinny guy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, rip the head off that thing out of high tops. Yeah, All right, sure. Bob, thank you so much for being here. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. Yes. Yes, good. I think everything was fun. The, the the Macy Grant presentation was a low point for me, but everything else was yeah. so fun. Well, I thought the same thing about your Bernie Sanders impression. There is a big problem with 98% <laughs> of the wealth is going to 2% of the population. <laughs> Make sure to check out Bob on tour. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Yes. Yes. We will see you guys next time on the Just Say Podcast. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Lee and Land and Brian. Thank you, Comedy Store. We'll see you next time.